And she really hates that. Mrs. Claus, the shopping boss here to help you Merry Savers find the best bargains ever. When you have the world's longest list, you go to Ross so you can work that budget and get those savings. I love saying yes to more Merry for less at Ross. Joining us live, Dave Navarro and Billy Morrison. They'll talk about their above ground benefit concert and how you can see it live. Tomorrow at 7 a.m. If you are unvaccinated, get vaccinated. If you are fully vaccinated, get your booster shot. Right now at 5, overcoming Omicron. Health experts push pandemic protection as the menacing mutation makes its way across America. Can California's return to mask mandates help slow the spread? We go one-on-one -on -one with the director of the CDC. Just about 10 minutes that all of this happened. Residents rattled by flash debris flows during yesterday's December deluge. As they begin digging out of the dirt is another strong storm taking aim at SoCal. That is correct. Classified files in the assassination of JFK just released by the National Archives. But will they reveal any new details and why others are still being kept secret? The News at 5 starts right now. Happy Wednesday, everybody. This is the KTLA 5 News at 5. I'm Cher Calvin. And I'm Pedro Vera. Thank you for joining us. Our big story tonight, California's universal mask mandate is back in effect with face coverings once again required in all indoor public places. Health officials are hoping that the mask requirement will help slow the growing spread of both the Delta and Omicron variants. KTLA's Kimberly Chang is live in Anaheim with mixed reaction to the reinstated rules. So she spoke to CDC Director Rochelle Walensky. Kimberly. Sure, Pedro. Hi. The California Department of Public Health has updated its guidance, and you can see more information on their website. Starting today, in areas where there's not already a mask requirement, people will have to wear masks indoors again for the next four weeks. You know, I'm immune compromised. I have trouble getting around. I have no problem with the mask mandate. I think it should be enforced. I'm over it. <laughs> I'm triple vaccinated. Californians are once again required to mask up indoors regardless of vaccination status through January 15th as a state deals with climbing COVID cases and concern over the Omicron variant. Centers for Disease Control Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky told me the order is aligned with CDC guidance. In areas of substantial or high transmission, which is really all of the Los Angeles area, the people should remain um, masked in public indoor settings. LA County kept a mask requirement in place, so the change won't be as noticeable there. But people in San Bernardino and Orange counties weren't required to wear masks indoors since the state dropped its previous mask mandate in June. I'm not wearing a mask. I won't comply. I think we're going backwards instead of forwards. Since Thanksgiving, the state's seven day average COVID case rate went up about 50% according to the California Department of Public Health. Around the nation, the Delta variant still makes up the majority of cases, but the Omicron variant is spreading fast. What we've seen in early data from other countries is that Omicron has a doubling time of about two days, which is really rapid. Dr. Walensky says the good news is the vaccine and booster are effective. So early data out of NIH today um, show in the lab studies in the lab have suggested that with that booster dose that we can really get high enough levels of protection that we will not necessarily need a an Omicron specific boost. Meanwhile, some colleges are implementing stricter requirements to prevent an outbreak. According to NPR, Stanford University is planning to bar students from holding parties or big gatherings for two weeks when they return to school in January. Some other schools are postponing the return to campus after the winter break. San Francisco is exempt from these indoor mask mandates. Can you explain that? Exactly, Pedro. So San Francisco will not be included in this, and that's because about 87% of eligible residents there have received at least one vaccine dose, according to the public health department. Take a look at this graphic that we have here. When could we get there? Well, that is how uh, this is how we compare, according to the LA Times tracker. Orange County is at about 74%. San Bernardino County, about 59%. LA County is at about 75% of residents who've received at least one dose. Now, state health officials didn't elaborate on how this would be enforced. It'll be left up to the local level. We'll have more.